Dan is a software products company that specializes in biometrics, those factors that are uniquely you, your face, your voice, your fingerprint. And we use those factors to establish trust between two parties. You, you've heard about the hoopla surrounding Apple now putting this technology that's been around for a while into a phone. Um, people say, how safe can it be? Is it going to work better than a password or a pin? And what happens if uh, a bad guy comes up to me and wants my information, so he just takes the phone out of my hand, puts it in my face, and then they have access to it, whether that be the bad guy or the police? What, are any of those concerns warranted? Well, I think it's important to be aware of all those concerns and have open discussions on them. But what we've seen with biometrics is consumers love them, and they enhance their security. So if a consumer has a technology they don't like, they won't adopt it, and it defeats a purpose. So with this technology, it's proven. We've had great success around the world with it. And uh, is it more or less secure than a PIN number? Uh, it is more secure than a PIN number. Why? Uh, because people aren't disciplined in how they create their PINs or their passwords. And we've seen the data breaches most recently with 100 million plus people where all personal information is taken and it can be misused. And so what we found, and even with Touch ID you mentioned, uh, it was invented or released in 2013. So it's been in the market four years. It's rare to see an incident of fraud and abuse with Touch ID. We believe the same thing will happen with fingerprint. That's the consistent results we've had. We've been deploying facial-based systems for banking, wealth, payment, insurance, telecommunication companies for the past years and we've had near zero incident of fraud or account takeover. What about where somebody says with the iPhone, okay, if the police pick me up and they want access to my phone, they can get it by just holding it up to my face. Or if a bad guy gets me and wants access to my information, he can get it by just holding it up to my face. I guess that's something that's much less likely to happen than getting hacked by, let's say, Equifax. Yeah, it certainly isn't the primary threat vector that a person responsible for a company has to worry about. But it is an important thing, and what they've done, we believe, is include uh, liveness detection. So What's that mean? it uh, would cause somebody to interact with the system to have uh, it unlock. Uh, meaning you can't cut my finger off and put my finger on a fingerprint and you can't take the face of a dead person and stick it on? Is that what you mean, <laughs> liveness? Well, it's trying to make sure that you're not using a photograph or you're engaging with the system in some way purposefully to try and interact with it. But none of these systems are flawless. And so all of them, and you'll see it with Apple, they can be defeated. Somebody will do that. So it's trying to strive to perfection, but all these systems um, are enhancing security, but they're not going to solve it. Uh, you know, most people, if government chose to get into a system, you know, they're going to get my playlist, some other things. And so I appreciate the concerns, but um, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> There's nothing that's in there that you're worried about them getting. I'm more concerned about my bank account, my payments. Right. and. Right. Tom, thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.